nerds. Improv. Nerds. Um, we grew really fast. Uh, really big. We get really big really fast. So we have spiritual stretch marks. Um, just that kind of expansion in such a short amount of time is a massive problem. We're just learning, we're just dealing with it now by accommodating with the space and the classes and we always have to hire new teachers. And so it, it's hard. Are you seeing difference with when you started out 18 years ago when it wasn't mm -hmm. an institution, you know? Mm -hmm. It was this grassroots kind of thing coming to New York um, to the students today that are coming into your class because I would imagine they would have higher expectations. You know, enough time has passed that there's been a generational shift because time is not moving at a constant rate, at least the way we perceive it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think things are accelerating. And I think that the kind of, the 20-year-old of today is a very different sort than the 20-year-old of 15 years ago. I was bitching and moaning to somebody and saying, these guys aren't playing real. They gotta play it real. And Shannon O'Neill had to stop me and say, Delaney, they don't know how to be real. Like they're not as humans. Now this is <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting because you will say in my in, in, in I will say this in class, be real. And I think you and I understand it because it's a generational thing. What is it when you say to someone today in class, I, I want you to just play it real? W what does it mean for you? means the same thing for you. You do play, you play, it means you play it honestly. But you know, when you're doing, when you're in comedy scenes, you do, um, you, there's a lot of absurdity, the satire. So <clears throat> if, if we're, it depends if you're in an organic scene, I think. If it's an organic scene, um, then you probably play really real. And a little bit, um, just real, you, I, we try to relate to each other the same way we, we relate in life. But if I went and I saw a UCB show with the, the, the original four, I'd say, those guys are so quick. They're so fast. They yeah. find the game like that. Yeah. They heighten it really quickly. Uh -huh. well, they're, uh, are they playing real? You're telling me one thing. You're telling me to play it real, and I go and see their show, and they're brilliant, and they're fast, and they're funny. It, it, there's a disconnect. It depends on the nature of the idea. OK. Absolutely depends on the nature of the idea. I, um, I think Besser plays it real, really beautifully. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's, a, he's got a knack. I don't think he studied acting quite as much, straight acting, as much as the other three UCBers. But he has a natural propensity for acting and for replicating really convincing human behavior. And if the nature of one of, if he's, you know, doing ASCAD, so one does a monologue, he pulls an idea from the monologue. If it's a, if it's a, it depends on the nature of the idea. Besser loves to play and his gang love to play big bombastic characters if that's going to serve the idea that got s sort of surgically uh, removed from the opening or extracted from the opening. And uh, I'd say all those guys <coughs> initiate an equal amount of scenes, at least in my experience, where we're speaking completely plainly. And uh, whatever the element that's being drawn from the opening is probably embedded therein. As long as we all recognize the unusual thing, then we decide how to go about playing that. And maybe the play style will maintain in a realistic style, or maybe it will heighten to an absurd style, or someone might tag in and change the nature of the game. So and I think that's absolutely true for a Python scene, or a Mr. Show scene, or an SCTV scene. They're bringing in the Mexican food to Honduras? <laughs> got to come some way. And the piracy is running rampant. Supplies are low. I don't know if it's safe to be here, Norman. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't said anything, but I think we have no business being here. <laughs>